Hillsboro school board members getting ready for a special meeting today to choose an interim superintendent this after Addison Davis announced he's leaving. And after that, they'll discuss an important topic. That's school boundary lines. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joining us live in Tampa with a preview of what is expected later today. Good morning, Jenny. Yeah, lots of work to do for the Hillsborough County School Board. Let's start with this 3 p.m. meeting. It is a special meeting they called where they will look at the candidates for interim superintendent and then vote on one. And this is something they need to do fairly quickly because current superintendent Addison Davis is stepping aside on July 14th. Now, Davis has been superintendent for the last three years for the district, guiding it through the COVID pandemic, helping to improve the district's academic ranking as well as the district's financial standing. School board chair Nadia Combs wanted to work quickly to get this interim in place so that they can stay the course. We do have several options internally and externally. I think it's, it's not gonna be an issue. And the wonderful thing about the superintendent, we are leave, he's leaving in great terms, so he's gonna work side by side. Now, one thing that the school board does not plan to wait on is the plan to change school boundaries that will be up for a vote at the regular meeting that starts at 4 p.m. today and that'll be just after they decide on the interim superintendent. Now the boundary issue, it has caused quite a bit of controversy for residents all through Hillsborough County, even those that don't have students in the county because of how it could affect property values. I'll break that down for you in the next half hour. Live in Tampa, Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay.